Week 15 fantasy football notes. Three straight games over 18 fantasy points for James Conner. In Desmond Ritter's first start, 11 of his 26 passing attempts went to Drake London. Tyler Algier had his breakout game. Back-to-back -back weeks, over 120 rushing yards for J.K. Dobbins. He's still probably not at 100%, but he's looked great. A lot of people were concerned about the Buffalo Bills weather. Hopefully he didn't bench Josh Allen, who went off. Dawson Knox has been on the rise the last two weeks for the tight end position. Massive bounce back for D.J. Moore, who we've seen have plenty of good fantasy weeks with Sam Darnold. Justin Fields, we've seen have good games against the Patriots, the Cowboys, and now the Eagles. I feel like he's matchup proof with that rushing upside. Solid week for all of Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, and Tyler Boyd. Third straight game over 13 fantasy points for Donovan Peoples-Jones, but also the third straight game under 10 for Nick Chubb. Three straight weeks of Ezekiel Elliott and Tony Pollard scoring over 14 fantasy points. Noah Brown stepped up big time for the Cowboys. Jerry Judy has scored at least 14 fantasy points in all of his last four full games. Latavius Murray and Marlon Mack both went off. Since the week six bye, Amon Ross St. Brown has had 10 plus targets in five games. DeAndre Swift had a season high nine targets and season high five receptions. Davis Mills had his best fantasy week. Chris Moore saw plenty of volume, just didn't do anything with it. Two out of three of Michael Pittman's last games, he's had 19 plus fantasy points. We'll be looking at Deion Jackson and Zach Moss with Jonathan Taylor's season pretty much over. Zay Jones has scored over 21 fantasy points now in three of his last four games since the bye. Season high 34.9 in this one for Zay Jones. Trevor Lawrence has stayed hot and so has Evan Ingram. Jarek McKinnon is on fire, similar to what he did at the end of last season. Back-to-back -back weeks over 32 fantasy points. Since Keenan Allen's return, he has been the wide receiver 6 overall, averaging 17.4 fantasy points per game. Second straight bad week for Devontae Adams, who scored less fantasy points than Matt Collins, Darren Waller, and Keelan Cole. Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle both score 20-plus fantasy points for the first time since Week 8. Kirk Cousins throwing over 400 passing yards and four touchdowns had positive impacts on K.J. Osborne and Justin Jefferson. Dalvin Cook had a season-high 27 fantasy points. King Ramondre Stevenson was the only bright spot for the Patriots this week. 172 rushing yards for him. Juwan Johnson scored his sixth and seventh touchdown of the season. Saquon Barkley was the only Giant to score over 10 fantasy points with 23. Zach Wilson capitalized on Mike White's injury. The trio of Jalen Hurts, A.J. Brown, and Devonta Smith looks solid. A.J. Brown had a season-high 16 targets. Season-high 20 fantasy points for Deontay Johnson, who's been trending up. Najee's looked okay the last two weeks. All of Geno Smith, Tyler Lockett, D.K. Metcalf, and Kenneth Walker performed under their projections. 25-ish fantasy points for both Christian McCaffrey and George Kittle. Three straight at this mark for Christian McCaffrey. Russell Gage led the way for the Bucks with 25 fantasy points. Back-to-back -back weeks, over 20 fantasy points for Derrick Henry. Chig Okonkwo continues to score over 10. Jahan Dotson was the best fantasy option for the Commanders. He scored a sixth touchdown of the season. He is on the rise.